Hello, I'm Sejit. I cleared my CAT in 2021 and I'm currently doing my MBA from IIM Calcutta. I'm here to share my journey and some tips for CAT exam. So starting with VRC. People generally tend to ignore VRC. They tend to mo focus more on DILR and QA and practice more there. You need to practice VRC as well. You need to remember all three sections are of equal weightage. So how to start? If you haven't started yet, you need to start now. How to start? Take it slow. The, do one or two RCs daily and then gradually you could increase the number to three to four RCs. You should read daily at least for 20 minutes, anything, article, newspaper, anything. It would just help to increase your reading capacity. And students generally face a problem key. You are not able to understand RCs. What, what is the author trying to say? They are very tough. What is the meaning? So there are many ways for that. What I followed was, if I read a paragraph, I used to convert it in the mother tongue. Ki wo author kya kehna cha I used to conclude it in one or two lines in my mother tongue. Then I used to remember ki wo kya line tha, what is the paragraph saying. There are many ways. People try, people tend to note one or two lines, one or two words, and then move to the next paragraph. What I did was convert it in my mother tongue and then move to the next paragraph and so on with the complete RC. In that way, you would remember RC is ki RC kya keh rahi hai. And uh, you would understand it well. This is what I believe. And eliminating the wrong options. This is what everyone does in VRC. You need to do that as well. So instead of picking the right, uh, picking the one, like out of four options, if you uh, in, pick the right one, instead go with eliminating the wrong options. Like for example, A mein kya galat hai, B mein kya galat hai, D mein kya galat hai, and then go with C instead of just directly putting to C. Mock analysis is a, again the very important part for the entire CAT journey, for the entire CAT exam. In mock analysis, VRC mein generally lo kya karte hai? Jaise B mark kiya, but answer C tha. Oh, the answer was C. Okay. And move on. You should not do that. You need to analyze your VRC section as well. You need to see ki what went wrong. Kaha galat kya? Do, in understanding the paragraph. Paragraph samaj nahi aaya. Or you understood it in the wrong way understanding the questions or options and the third one is you were stuck in the last two options like there were four options but i was stuck i eliminated first two but c and d were left and i chose the wrong one it is very common so uh what i did what i tried to do to ignore this problem to avoid this problem was uh, I used to see the differences between those two options. For example, I'm stuck between C and D. What is the difference and paragraph uh, RC se konsa better? Uh, RC se uh, which info relates better? So in that way, if you see the difference between two options in the last two close options, then that would help avoiding the mistake. What, uh, again, moving on to the next point, what worked out for me in the exam for better flow? So VRC is the first section in exam and you're not in that flow and not in that exam mode, just starting the mock or exam on the day as well. So for example, for me in the first five to seven minutes, there were only announcements. There are so many announcements going on during the exam or in the first five minutes. So you would not be able to read an entire RC properly. There would be many disturbances. So what I did was I, did, I started with VA questions. I did two to three VA questions and then I jumped on to RCs. So that way I was able to get in the mode. I was able to focus better. And then after doing three questions, moved on to RCs. And then later for the last five minutes, when there is a lot of stress, you would not be able to do a new RC or perform anything, like start a new thing. So for that, you could pick the VA again. Like oh, do two to three, leave two to three questions of VA for those last five minutes. That would help in optimizing your time that was or that would optimize your time and that this is what i followed for a better flow during my vrc section moving on to the next section uh lidi i think it was my best section my favorite section all thanks to ravi sir so i did my entire prep on an academy for the uh exam for the cat exam so i followed ravi sir for lidi and qa and what i learned was you need to give time to a set Simply watching the solution won't help. 
यू नीड टू प्रैक्टिस इट ऑन योर ओन यू नीड टू डेवलप दैट प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग स्किल वो कैसे आएगी इफ यू गिव टाइम टू सेट की वो सेट क्या है सोल्व पजल्स एज मेनी एज यू कैन एंड वेन यू गिव टाइम टू सेट यू यू आर ट्राइंग टू ओपन अप योर माइंड की या वी कैन डू इट इन दिस वे एज वेल सो दिस इज वॉट आई वुड आई थिंक वुड हेल्प यू द मोस्ट Even I gave thirty forty minutes in the beginning to a set, so if give as much time as you can, and then later watch the solution. So this would help in the problem solving skill. And in LRDI, practice, practice, practice can only help. And for example, in the initial, you could give time like thirty uh, forty minutes to a set, try building the skill. But on a later stage, you need to have a timed practice. because speed is also important in lrdi in all the sections so try to solve the set in 8 to 10 minutes at a later stage do not stress out yourself with time in the beginning in the earlier stage of your preparation but later you could do that and you should do that uh, and have a better practice with a stopwatch with you coming to mock analysis for lrdi mock analysis if you are able to solve the set in mock it's well and good just see the solution if there are any shorter tricks or shorter ways to do that set otherwise you the most important part of mock analysis for lrdi is you need to see did you pick the right set because picking the right set is plays a very important role in lrdi so you need to see for example you did two uh, two sets in lrdi and uh, two uh, there were four sets so you need to see did you pick the easiest one first और विच सूट विच सूटेड योर स्ट्रेंथ तो सबसे पहले वो देखो एंड देन देन यू कुड देन अगेन सोल्व द रेस्ट सेट प्रॉपरली टू नॉट वॉच द सोल्यूशन डायरेक्टली एनालाइज इट एंड दैट दैट इज द मोस्ट थिंग आई थिंक फॉर एल आर डी आई मॉक एनालिसिस अगेन द अदर पार्ट इज कि मैंने एक सेट को ज्यादा टाइम तो नहीं दे दिया लाइक देर फोर सेट्स बट आई गेव माई ट्वेंटी थर्टी मिनट्स इन वन सेट एंड वॉज नॉट एबल टू द was not able to do the rest so ye time wali cheez bhi you need to see in mock analysis so during the exam some tips would be uh for uh, like there are last 5 minutes there is lot of pressure you would not be able to do an entire set in that 5 minutes so what you could do is there are there are definitely some questions in a set jo bina solve kiye matlab pura set solve kiye bina wo do question tum kar sakte ho to wo you need to practice for that and you need to read the question you need to go through all the questions all the four or five questions and you need to see ki kaun se do questions kaun se ek do questions bina pura set solve ke thoda sa do teen minute mein ho sakte hain so that would help in optimization of your time and that two questions would make a difference because generally people tend to do two sets and then aage to number i am not defining the number it's on you it's on the difficulty level try as much as you can do as much as you can do not waste any time ki ab 5 minute bache hain you cannot do any set to chhod diya nahi always try to do it till the last minute do not give up before the time gets over moving on to qa i think arithmetic and algebra played a very means are a very important part of qa that should be very strong there are no wo excuses for that तो अगेन अर्थमेटिक एजेब्रा शुड बी वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग बट इफ आई से यही दोनों करना है नो आई एम नॉट सेइंग दैट यू यू नीड टू डू नंबर सिस्टम एंड पीएनसी एन वेल बट एटलीस्ट यू शुड नो द बेसिक्स कि फॉर्मूला जो डायरेक्ट इजी क्वेश्चंस होते हैं ना जो एक दो डायरेक्ट फॉर्मूला है दैट वुड बी द लाइक लीस्ट टाइम वाले क्वेश्चन अगर तुमने पीएनसी और नंबर सिस्टम पढ़ा ही नहीं है हाउ वुड यू डू दैट यू वुड मिस दो इजी क्वेश्चन यू कैन नॉट अफोर्ड दैट सो those are free marks know the basics of all the topics at least all the formulas direct formula based questions so you need to do all the sections but just my point is your arithmetic and algebra should be very strong because that would help in your lrdi section as well because for example in my case there was an arithmetic set in lrdi so those two say uh, arithmetic and algebra section should be very strong for you do not miss any easy question for now coming to your weak topics for example geometry was a little weak for me so what i did was start from basic there are many sheets and uh, assignments available you need to start from basic do the easy questions build from the basic that would help you give gain some confidence in that topic 
if you do if you are able to solve them those questions you will gain confidence and then you could improve on those topic moving on to the next point yeah formula notebook is very important you uh, you should have a notebook in which you write all the all the formulas of qa whichever you think in one part like it should not be in different parts all of all the formulas in one notebook which you would be revising every week like for example you could take out when you are on a break or you need you don't want to start something in new you could revise those note those formulas that would improve your qa section qa section and again another notebook for good questions so you go through many mocks there are good questions ki it had a very good trick ki ye trick bahut achhi thi ye question bahut acha tha this was a question which i was not able to solve but i should be ki wo itna difficult nahi tha aur mere strength ka tha still i was not able to solve to aise questions jo which you think generally there is a feature of starring in mocks but wo sab alag alag hote hain like alag sections to ek jagah hone chahiye wo sare questions and again you need to revise that every week so that would help you build on those tricks which were there in the marks ki in short tricks se you would be able to save time during the exam uh, again moving to the exam strategy strategy what i did was round wise uh, i went through all the questions and i did the ones in my round one i did only the ones jo kam time le rahe i was able to solve within 80 seconds I let's take hundred seconds within hundred seconds जो कर पा रहे हो वो राउंड वन में करना है बट यू नीड टू गो थ्रू ऑल दी क्वेश्चन एंड देन यू मार्क दी वन जो तुम्हें आता है विच यू नो यू कुड डू बट थोड़ा टाइम टेकिंग है लाइक जोमेट्री क्वेश्चन इट वुड टेक टेक सम टाइम बट यू वुड भी एबल टू सोल्व इट इजी तो वो मार्क कर लो एंड देन यू कुड कम बैक टू दोज क्वेश्चन इन राउंड टू सो दिस इज वॉट आई फॉलो दिस राउंड वाइज स्ट्रेटेजी कमिंग बैक गोइंग थ्रू वन एंड देन डूइंग द शॉर्ट वन एंड देन कमिंग बैक टू अदर्स इन राउंड टू इन क्यू ए इट्स मैथ्स यू नीड टू प्रैक्टिस एंड रिवाइज नथिंग एल्स कुड हेल्प यू की प्रैक्टिसिंग कीप रिवाइजिंग दिस वुड हेल्प यू इम्प्रूव द स्पीड एज वेल अगेन ईगो पे नहीं लाना है डोंट गेट स्टक ऑन एनी क्वेश्चन कि मैंने अब इतना टाइम दे दिया है आई नीड टू सॉल्व इट एट एनी कॉस्ट इट इज माय स्ट्रेंथ ये तो अर्थमेटिक का है अर्थमेटिक मेरा बहुत स्ट्रॉन्ग है मैं तो करके ही जाऊंगा ऐसा नहीं है यू ऐसा करोगे तो यू माइट मिस ऑन द इजी क्वेश्चन और द बेटर क्वेश्चन एट द लेटेस्ट टाइम तो डोंट गेट स्टक ऑन एनी क्वेश्चन और ऑन एनी सेट इन एल गिव गुड नंबर ऑफ मॉक्स मतलब दिस इज द मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट पॉइंट आई वॉन्ट टू इम्फिसाइज कि मॉक्स से ही होगा मतलब आई गेव अराउंड सेवेंटी मॉक्स एंड सिर्फ मॉक्स देना नहीं है यू नीड टू एनालाइज ईच वन ऑफ दैम एनालिसिस ऑफ दैम इज मोर इम्पोर्टेंट मतलब अगर तुम बीस भी दे रहे हो ना तो एनालाइज करो सारे तुम अगर सेवेंटी दे दो और एनालाइज ना करो तो इट वॉन्ट बी ऑफ एनी गेम एनी प्रॉफिट टू यू दीज एग्जाम्स टेस्ट योर स्ट्रेस मैनेजमेंट कैट एग्जाम तो फॉर एग्जाम्पल मेरा Like your VARC section doesn't go good, for example, just in hypothesis. तो तुम वो स्ट्रेस एल आर डी आई में नहीं ला सकते हो ठीक है मतलब वो क्यों फर्स्ट सेक्शन खराब हो गया दो सेक्शन तो वो स्ट्रेस तुम एल आर डी आई में लाओगे यू वो नॉट बी एबल टू सॉल्व दिस सेट तो जो हो गया वो एक सेक्टर में एक सेक्शन में उस लास्ट टेन सेकेंड में यू नीड टू टेक अ डीप ब्रेथ एंड मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट सेक्शन फॉर गेट अबाउट दैट की वी आर सी में क्या हुआ एल आर डी आई में क्या हुआ यू नीड टू मूव ऑन क्योंकि जनरली क्यूए में क्या होता है ना बहुत स्ट्रेस ले लेते हैं लोग कि मेरे पिछले दो सेक्शन ऐसे हुए हैं और देर आर चांसेस बहुत ओवर कॉन्फिडेंट हो जाते हैं लोग कि मेरे फर्स्ट टू सेक्शन वो इवेंट रियली वेल एंड बहुत अच्छा हुआ है तो क्यूए में कम किया या ओवर कॉन्फिडेंट हो गया जो भी तो जो हो रहा है पिछले सेक्शन में डू नॉट कीप इट कीप अ बैगेज ऑफ दैट इन योर माइंड जस्ट मूव ऑन ठीक है एंड अगेन स्ट्रेस मैनेजमेंट की टाइम कम है अगेन प्रैक्टिस वुड हेल्प गिव एज मेनी नंबर्स ऑफ मॉक्स यू कैन तो वो मॉक वुड प्रिपेयर यू फॉर दी डे तो अगर ज्यादा नंबर ऑफ मॉक्स दोगे ना तो कैट भी एक नेक्स्ट मॉक ही लगेगा तो दैट रियली हेल्प मी द मॉक्स रियली हेल्प मी आई वॉज रियली स्ट्रेस बिफोर माई एग्जाम बट वेन इट स्टार्टेड इट वॉज वेरी चिल बिकॉज आई गेव दैट नंबर ऑफ मॉक्स नथिंग कैन हेल्प यू देर आर नो शॉर्ट to success you need to work hard to it you need to have that determination ki roz practice kar rahe ho roz about the schedule which you could have daily is 
people who are working for example people who are students and do not have much to do they could do uh, two set means they could give a lot of time they could practice as much as much as they want but for people who are working who do not have a lot of time for cat preparation uh, start with like for ex- in a week six days and on the seventh day you could take a break or revise so for six days take two two days each for each section and then do uh, for example on monday tuesday you are doing vrc focus more on rcs do many number of rcs read and read as much as you can moving on to lrdi do good number of lrdi sets and then the later qa so i say you could divide the six in three parts six days and on the seventh day you could revise ki pichle week pure pichle week kya hua kya formulas the kya acche questions the to wo seventh day would help you take break take a break or revision ke liye do not start anything new kyunki uh, don't stress yourself out bahut bahut zyada nahi karna hai you need to take break take a break as well so ek din you could assign to it and uh, that's it i think which i could uh, i hope i added value and all the best for your exam thank you